F1 in schools has taken up a huge amount of my time. It's taken up huge amounts of all of our time. But I think that in fifth and sixth year and later on in college, it, there's no comparison between someone who's had an experience like this and done something where you're independently acting on you know, your own ideas, concepts and innovation and someone who's not had this experience. It can be only beneficial to anyone who chooses to do F1 in schools. Well, I think it was all the different things that you got to learn, so from marketing, sponsorship, manufacturing, design, it was, it's all encompassing really and to be honest, the skills are very transferable and having F1 in schools on your CV was actually a brilliant thing, which I found when I was applying for work experience recently. It's one of the best projects I think I've been involved in. It's been fantastic uh, learning even for myself to start to incorporating the IT and the physics and the DCG into, into a, one project. I was the uh, manufacturing engineer on the team and I think that the teachers who are involved at F1 um, saw potential in some of us who were doing the techni technical subjects and science as well. It's a new take on, on technology, it's a new take on IT. It's, it's um, wonderful really to have to have students working with you, you know, outside of school time and, and working with you in something that you enjoy and that they enjoy. It's made us probably a lot more dedicated to what we do. We can see if you put in the work, you see what, what you can actually achieve out of it. Having done it and having been a design engineer on the teams, um, I found I have a love for engineering and also for aerodynamic engineering in particular. Um, and it kind of helped me decide that I wanted to probably go into physics or engineering in the end of it. So it's been a really beneficial experience for learning as well. I know this from my own experience that things that you did in and around school, um, whatever it happens to be, and it doesn't really matter what it is, so long as there is something that inspires somebody to go the extra mile, to do things that they would never dream of doing before, or to explore concepts, ideas, activities that they never had access to. It's amazing when you see 13, 14, 15 year olds uh, doing work that they bring technicians into third level colleges to do. And we, even these guys now, that they expect a standard themselves so high that when they see cars being manufactured in some of the manufacturing um, centres, that they're very disappointed by the standard of manufacturing. And then we have this wonderful array of inspiring teachers who inspire youngsters, who in turn will just take that passion and carry it with the rest of, for the rest of their lives. When you start, you've nothing, no money, no stand, no nothing, and then to see yourself on the final day with the stand all made and your car, your car is finished and you're racing it, and it's just great to see that you built that and that's, that's what you did. This is actually something where you get to go out there and make something, race against other teams and see your creations come to life. It's, it's really a completely different project and an amazing experience. Our first F1 team, the first senior team that we had in the competition, just graduated from school here and uh, they've all gone on to third level. Um, four out of the five that were on that team have gone on to science and engineering courses. Actually, before starting the competition, I had no clue what I wanted to do in college or what I wanted to do long term, but I've actually uh, kind of gone full time into the whole IT thing. It's, it's really kind of pointing me in that direction. And it's right now, actually myself and Owen, who's also in the team, um, and currently we actually develop iPhone applications. So. Well, all of us began this competition. We were looking at applying for the jobs that suited us best. And we, so I'm interested in designing, so I'm the design engineer. As well as that, you have to do other things. It's not just about the job you're specified to do. You have to work at being a team, most importantly. You have to manage your time, which is something that is invaluable in any career you have. So it's not just about the uh, particular field that you're interested in. It's about all the other things that come with it benefit is probably the um, teamwork that mm -hmm. um, students of, of different skills you know having uh, allowing students to have different skills in different areas and understanding that people are different and that everybody has something different to offer in the project. For that you need a leader, you need a, an instructor, a teacher uh, and then you need the facilities. You also need the backup support that ICS can provide and the F1 formula in schools is another unstructured but highly motivational and highly inspirational kind of access uh, to mechanical engineering and all the things that go with it. It's just great.